Good evening, Master. You called for me? Yes, as I thought. The storm is keeping you awake? I brought you some warm milk. That's supposed to help you sleep. I too have trouble sleeping. This is why I'm still in uniform and up at this late hour. I figured I might as well get some of tomorrow's chores done now while I have the energy. I do hope I haven't made much noise and kept you up. It's hard work keeping this place in tip-top shape, but you treat me ever so well. I have made good friends here, and I make enough money to send home to my family in the countryside. I must truly thank you, Master, from the bottom of my heart for taking me in and training me to be the maid I am today. I am indebted to you, and I plan to do everything in my power to serve you and your house well into the future. You are a faithful servant in me. That being said, do tell me if there's anything I can assist you with tonight. You just name it, Master, and it shall be done post-haste. Oh, uh, you wish for my company? Well, I suppose it's not a task I'm used to, but it would be an honour to comfort you until you can sleep. Um, <coughs> well, sir, shall I stand beside your bed? I believe it would be improper to make myself comfortable on your bed. But, well, if, if it's what you wish, I have no grounds to decline. Please tell me if at any point I'm overstepping my boundaries, sir. I have never sat on a man's bed before, and I'm unsure in what way I should conduct myself, frankly. I shall sit at the end so as not to take up too much space. Here, I'll just take off my shoes. I wouldn't want to get your bed dirty. Ah, right. Well, that should be good. Do say if you are uncomfortable, Master. So then, Penny for your thoughts. Surely it can't just be the rain keeping you up, sir. Do excuse me if I speak too openly. I only wish to serve you in any way. If listening to your troubles would help you feel more relaxed, then I'd be more than happy to listen. It must be truly hard handling this whole estate on your own while conducting business as well. It's truly admirable, sir. I have great respect for your work and what you have built here. I could never hope to have such influence. The best I can do is assist you in any way I can. Hmm? Well, well, of course I care for you. You are my master, and you provide everything for me. How could I not care for you? I'm very passionate about my work, and I take great pride in my role. <laughs> in fact, every time I go to the market in town, I make a point to say who my master is. Excuse me if this sounds weird, I just like people to know for some reason. Oh, I do apologise. I've started blushing. Please do not look at me. This is so disgraceful, blushing over telling people who my master is. <sighs> Perhaps I've talked too much. I'm starting to embarrass myself. You're enjoying it? <laughs> oh, well, I'm certainly glad, sir. <sighs> Anyways, is there any way I can help you sleep? It looks like your schedule is very full. Mm, you want me to do... what? Uh, oh, Master, that is rather intimate. Are, are you certain? Well, okay, I, I can try. So, I just go like this, 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 this. So this is supposed, supposed, supposed to be soothing, 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 soothing. Uh, you want me to, to, to tap, 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 tap my nails too. Master, perhaps I could tap your glass of milk. 
Maybe that would make a better sound? Right then, here I go. was that, Master? Did I do a good job? Are you more relaxed now? Oh well, that's just grand. Oh my, we've gotten rather close. I did not mean to climb this near to you. I just thought it would be more soothing if I was closer to your ears. Oh, you don't mind? Are you certain? Oh, oh what are you doing, sir? <laughs> You're stroking my head? Is this calming for you? It feels nice. Mm hmm. I'm like a cat. <laughs> how amusing. Well then, meow. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. I do apologize. How unprofessional, Master. Please excuse me. I should go. Oh, oh. Master, wh why are you hugging me so suddenly? I. I was just too cute? You're holding me so close to your chest. I can hear your heartbeat. It feels nice to be this close to you. you you're so warm. Hmm? You think it's more comfortable like this? W well, I suppose if it will help you sleep, I don't mind at all. In fact, I find a pleasure in being embraced in your arms. Hmm. You smell so nice, Master. I... D do I have permission to relax a little? W what? Sleep here? No, I, I couldn't. What would the other maids think of me? Sleeping with the Master would certainly be frowned upon. Not not to mention I have chores to do and... and I... I apologize. If, if this is your wish, Master, then I shall stay. Hmm? No, no, sir, that's not it at all. I I do desire to sleep with you. In fact, it well has been a fantasy of mine to... Uh, never mind. I simply do not wish to overstep boundaries and cause any trouble for you. But if it were to come down to my personal opinion, judgment aside, I, I would love to sleep with you. Yes, well, I suppose you're right. It is decided. I will stay with you all night and ensure that you get a full night's rest and wake up nice and refreshed tomorrow. Mmm, so comfy. Oh, I haven't allowed myself to relax like this in a very long time. This is simply a dream come true. To cuddle up with my crush. I, I mean, Master, oh my goodness, oh dear, I do apologise. I didn't mean I just... Oh, how humiliating. Please forgive me. I, I was just so comfortable that it just slipped out. I should learn to keep my daydreaming to myself. Oh, oh, what? No, I simply couldn't. I'd die from embarrassment. Oh, well, if it truly does amuse you, I... Well, I will tell you. Ever since the day you brought me onto your staff and gave me a home, a purpose, a reason to keep living and working hard, I have admired you. Innocently at first, but over time I, I matured and I grew, and so did my feelings for you. 
They adapted from just admiration to, well, well, I, I suppose you could say a deep affection, a warmth, a passion. Oh, for heaven's sake, I love you. Oh, I said it. Well, well, there's no point in stopping now. Uh, every time you'd walk past, every time I'd greet you in the morning, every time I would serve you, my love grew stronger, stronger and stronger, until I took to practically follow you around all day. I just wanted to see if I could assist you in any way. <laughs> Yes, I just wanted to be the best maid I could for you. I wanted to always be there for you to rely on. So, that is the true reason I was up so late doing chores. I've neglected some of my less pressing chores to stay closer to you. Though must I do apologise for letting my feelings disrupt my work. I completely understand if you do not feel comfortable with me anymore. What? It is really all right. Oh, Master, there is no reason to thank me, truly. You've, c you've come to grow a fondness for me, too. Oh, sir, do not play with my feelings like this. My heart will simply explode. Here, in this darkness, cuddled up face to face with you, your arms wrapped around me, if you tell me you, in all your greatness, love me, too, I... I may just pass away and go to heaven. Oh, Master, I'm I'm so happy. I, I may cry. Please, I do not wish to cry in front of you. But, so, can I hide my face in your chest while we sleep? <laughs> Thank you, Master. 